dear, oh dear, Prime, the drink that tastes like laundry detergent and literal bleach might actually contain bleach. Can you believe it? Well, gather around the campfire, kids. We've got a hell of a story today. Just like everything, diet is important, and KSI and Logan Paul have been trying to help us by creating a drink that is, you know, for athletes, for prime people, hence why it's called Prime, you know, top of their game. However, extremely concerning, Prime is contains three times the amount of forever chemicals a human can safely have in their lifetime. In their lifetime! So what is basically the FDA, what do they do? Uh, who fucking cares and who knows? Because they've allowed it on the shelves for a, a few, at least a year now. So they are, Prime is getting sued, and you should be concerned if you have any Prime since it's released. Uh, I did have uh, one green one, thought it tasted terrible. I had a sip of my mate's fucking multicoloured one and thought, you know, this just tastes like I'm cleaning out my toilet and instead of pouring it down there, I put it in my gob instead. I put it in my mouth. So I decided not to get it. So they are discovered that the drink is PFOS, which is a forever chemical, which basically kills you, gives you cancer and three times the amount. So lawyers, people like that are getting involved and actually going through it. They found these in the grape flavoured prime drink, but it seems that apparently all the flavours have it. They're doing tests, blah, 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 blah. One lawyer on TikTok, so, you know, probably not not a lawyer, someone who's unemployed looking to be a lawyer, or a 14 year old kid who watched Suits and seen Daredevil and thinks he knows what law actually is. He said that he had a 10 year old mother and talked to her about how her son got leukemia after drinking Prime. Correlation, not causation. You know, how can you say you had one bottle? I really, really doubt one bottle gives you cancer. You know what I mean? That's just coincidence, I think. It might be wrong, but you know, I don't think you can say stuff like that. It contains these chemicals, basically, and these chemicals will kill you. So, let's delve into it. Prime is now getting sued, and you should be seriously concerned if you had any Prime since it released. So, Prime is now going through a new lawsuit after it was discovered that their drink has pe What the hell was that? I hope that's not real. You know what I mean? This is a problem with TikToks. I granted, like, I don't think energy drink, you know, when you have a glass of Coke, you go, this is horrible for me. This is going to rot my teeth, make me fat and probably kill me. But it tastes okay. When you drink Prime, you don't go, this is going to kill me. And it tastes nice. You just don't do that. And then that they're pouring all this weird shit out. Like, I understand, like, that, this, that, and the other. But it's just, it's, it's for kids. It's a kid's drink. You know what I mean? I, I've never, I don't understand the hype. And it's all hype because Logan Paul's behind it in case I is behind it, you know, the, the well-known boxer and or FIFA player, whichever sort of generation you're from. However, that their drink has PFOs, which is forever chemicals. But what's really concerning is the fact that the lawyer who tested their drink is claiming it has three times the amount of forever chemicals a human can safely have in their lifetime. And the lawsuit is claiming they found these forever chemicals in the grape-flavored prime drink. However, also it seems like other flavors might also have these chemicals because other prime flavors are being tested. It's just funny, I'd like to point out as well, have you ever seen, like, Logan KSI actually drink one of these. I don't think I've seen anyone drink it. They just hold it. They just carry it. And, you know, they have pictures of them drinking it, but I guarantee they never drank it once. The scary thing is, if they actually knew that this shit was bad, how did it get approved and how on earth and why did KSI and Logan Paul actually promote it and get involved with it? I, you know, there has to be some sort of explanation as to why they get involved because if you knew willingly that this stuff was not good for you and you're trying to promote it as an energy drink, get loads of fighters in, UFC people, get sports, celebrities, football teams in and involved on the drink itself and you're going to make billions when you sell it and that you think that this prime is you know gonna be you know good for people you advertise it as something for sports people to keep you going it's funny as well everyone who's been sponsored by it has eventually has lost their next fight and or you know bottled the league if you're arsenal and we're going to find out after the lawsuit is approved one lawyer on tiktok actually spoke about this and said he had a 10 year old and his mother talked to him about how her son got leukemia after drinking prime now knowing that prime contains these chemicals it's very much likely because of it these chemicals are known to cause cancers and deteriorate your health since they're forever chemicals and your body can't can't get rid of them. Prime has so obviously, you know, all energy drinks are bad for you, but I think the problem here is that they were trying to advertise it as not an energy drink and something that's helpful. You know, a caffeine give you a boost, keep you going, get you up, help you progress through the day. But that's not what it is. It's just another glass of Coke with slightly less sugar and a bit more caffeine in it. It's not good for you. It's not going to save you. And it's going to turn your teeth shit and fuck up your guts. Problem is, when you have Logan, you have KSI, these people who kids look up to. You know, I looked up to KSI. I wanted to be as cool as that kid when I was younger. If I was young, I would have bought so much Prime because I thought it would turn me into a, a YouTuber slash boxer or something. I would have been in there. I thought if I drank this shit, I would have been Spider-Man. You know, I would have grown up and started crawling on walls and, you know, getting every, everything I've ever wanted. But instead, it's just as bad as the other ones. And I think the problem is the marketing here. They've promoted it as something that's beneficial, helpful, something healthy. Oh, guys, come have this. This is really good. We we drink it all the time and we're pro athletes. Bro, you've never 
never drank it in your life. You know what I mean? No one ever. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm off to football. I've, have you had your prime? Come on, have your prime. No, no one does that, mate. No one. As a three times the amount of these chemicals a person should have in their lifetime, which is insanely concerning, and all we can do is hope that prime doesn't contain any of these chemicals, which might be unlikely. So if you still drink prime or have any, make sure you dispose of all of it until we find out what's going on with Logan's drink. Yes, yeah, so don't drink it basically until we find out what's actually going on because these forever chemicals will kill you. I wouldn't be surprised if they're in there. But I want to know, when it says there's three times the amount you should have in a lifetime, is that in what? One sip? One bottle? The problem with these videos is they're very vague. The, this might not even contain forever chemicals. You know what I mean? They're just getting involved with it to just to, you know, they found something in one and they basically have found it saying it's everywhere. So it was founded in 2022. So it's been two years and it's very, you know, popular. Everyone loves it. But it's got a hell of a lot of caffeine in for kids. It's got a lot of other shit in it that isn't very clear. You know, multicolored drinks like that, if you think they're good for you, then I seriously recommend reading a book on just anything because you're clearly not very clever and you clearly do not know anything about anything. So they're basically retained legal counsel for very could do not say oh. So basically they've just got nearly two Red Bulls or half a dozen Cokes in one. May I might have one just to see what happens. Shall we do a test? I'll do a test, guys, and I'll, I'll just drink what I'll just drink fifty at once. If I drop dead, blame the prime. Alright, but yeah, it's basically this these kids, you know, you're giving kids all this caffeine at such a young age. They shouldn't have caffeine until they're like 16, 17, 18. Like that's that's a rule. That was a rule when I was a kid. I was a little cup of tea, but it's because I'm English. Different when you're English. See. It's just got so much shit in it, and they just pretended that's all it was. Look, Prime might be good for you, but I highly doubt it. Anything like fizzy drinks, energy drink style stuff is not good for you. It affects your heart, it affects your gut, it affects your microbiome, it affects everything. If you have a glass of Coke, you know what you're in for. If you have a glass of Prime, you should also know what you're in for. It's not a healthy drink. It's not going to change you. It's not going to give you a, a better better life. It's going to affect your kids. Just don't give them it. You know what I mean? Wait until they're 18 and they go, I want to buy this on my own. You go buy that bleach in a bottle if you fancy it. But yeah, I just, you know, I really hope that they had no idea that this stuff was in them. You know, I like to think KSI's a good guy, Logan Paul's Logan Paul, but KSI, I feel like maybe he's a bit more human, actually understands people, maybe I'm wrong, you know, that, that could be a complete lie, but I just hope better from people like KSI and Logan Paul, you know, not to advertise and push this to kids, to children, and Ryan Garcia called him out and whatever, but Ryan Garcia's not exactly in the best headspace, I don't think, is he, but maybe he was onto something, you know, he's they're affecting all these kids, and yeah... I mean, it's just funny. I've never seen anyone drink it other than a kid. You know what I mean? Definitely no celebrities fucking drink it. See, tw kids under 12 should avoid caffeine entirely. They should. You know, it's a drug. It's an addiction. How many people? Everyone's addicted to caffeine. If I don't have a fucking morning coffee, do not come speak to me. Do not even utter my name because I won't listen because I won't be able to. But guys, in conclusion, prime hydration contains these horrible chemicals that can give cancer and kill you. And it's three times the recommended lifetime health advisory that you would be advised to have. Let's hope this is not true and that Logan and KSI are simply being you know targeted but look lawyers are involved the FPA or whatever they're called everyone's involved the health department lawyers countries it just you know I hope I hope it's not true and that this is just all blown out of proportion but they're getting sued and they're gonna be fucked if they lose if they are selling this shit and lying about it let's hope they are fucked up and never get to see the world again because people like that hate lying manipulating just for the sake of a bit of cash and I hope they're not like that guys anyway take it easy fellas